Spider-Man and Batman's secret mission, once upon a time, in the bustling city of New York, Spider-Man was swinging between skyscrapers when his phone buzzed. It was a message from none other than Batman. Meet me at the top of the Empire State Building. It's urgent. Spider-Man, curious about what could be so important, raced through the air, flipping and spinning until he landed on the rooftop in a graceful crouch. There, in the shadows, stood Batman, his cape fluttering in the wind, hey, bats. Spider-Man greeted cheerfully. What's up, Batman, always serious, stepped forward. There's a secret mission, and it needs both of us. A villain from Gotham, the Riddler, has teamed up with Dr. Octopus. They've created a machine that can freeze time in both our cities. If they succeed, no one will be able to stop them from taking over. Spider-Man's eyes widened behind his mask. That's crazy. How do we stop them? Batman unfolded a small map and pointed to a hidden island off the coast. They've built their lair here. We have to sneak in, disable their machine, and stop them before midnight. Are you ready? Spider-Man nodded. Let's do this. The two heroes hopped into the Batplane, soaring over the shimmering ocean under the moonlit sky. Spider-Man couldn't help but be impressed by Batman's gadgets. You sure know how to travel in style, he joked, Batman cracked a small smile. Just stay focused, webhead. As they approached the island, they saw towering robots guarding the entrance. Spider-Man quickly fired his web shooters, zipping between the robots, tangling them up in sticky webs. Meanwhile, Batman used his bat gadgets to disable their sensors, making sure the villains didn't get alerted, inside the lair, the duo moved silently through dark tunnels. Finally, they reached a massive room where Dr. Octopus was working furiously on his time-freezing machine. Beside him, the Riddler was laughing, scribbling riddles on the walls. Spider-Man whispered to Batman, I'll distract Doc Ock. You take out the machine. With a quick nod, Spider-Man leaped into action, flipping through the air to land in front of Dr. Octopus. Hey, Doc. Don't you know? Freezing time is so last year. Dr. Octopus snarled, sending his metal arms flying toward Spider-Man. But Spider-Man was too fast, dodging and weaving, keeping the villain busy, at the same time, Batman slipped past unnoticed, heading straight for the machine. Using his gadgets, he worked swiftly to disable it. Just as the Riddler noticed, Batman had already cracked the code. Too slow, Batman said, pulling out the final wire, with a loud whir, the machine powered down. No! Dr. Octopus shouted, but it was too late. Spider-Man quickly webbed him up, while Batman caught the Riddler before he could escape, the villains were defeated, as the sun rose, Spider-Man and Batman stood victorious on the island. We make a pretty good team, Spider-Man said, giving Batman a friendly nudge, Batman nodded. Indeed. But don't get too used to it, webhead. Gotham's waiting. With that, the two heroes went their separate ways, ready for their next adventure, because with Spider-Man and Batman on the job, no villain could ever succeed, and they both knew, deep down, that no matter how far apart their cities were, they'd always have each other's back.